Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable little mini backpack. Now this is using some dies, which I'm going to show you in a moment, but if you don't have the dies, this is the Helen Griffin backpack, then I will share my backpack tutorial that I made a couple of years ago, which many of you enjoy, and if you go to that one there, you will be able to use maybe the design of this and the colours that I've used and turn that into a Christmas you know, backpack, or maybe you've not even seen it before anyway. I always try to, in my tutorials, give people alternatives if you don't have dies. So this one here, I was sent the dies. I've got a couple of the Helen Griffin ones actually, so you'll see a few more in the coming weeks. But they're kind of like bonus videos, so they're not replacing my normal tutorials, but I just thought they're quite fun and I wanted to share them. So this is how it looks here, and you've got the little straps there. I've kind of distressed them and bent them and you know just I want it to look a little bit rustic. This is for a man so I've got the bar humbug because I know exactly who I'm giving this to and then the, the lovely thing about this is actually that the closure is these pieces here. So they're, they and they really do hold it in place. You could also add a magnetic you know piece there if you wanted to but inside here you'll see you've got loads and loads of space you know to put some nice little gifts. Perfect for some aftershave it's a great size for that. So um, yeah, it's very straightforward to do. So let me just pop that back in there. There we go, and it all slides down. And then I've just added a few little of my kind of berries there. And I've just die cut a little kind of piece of foliage there from one of my dies. And then the bar humbug is from the Woodware Stamps and I'll show you that one in a moment. So yeah, let's crack on with the tutorial. Okay, so today I'm going for this really lovely, what's the color of it actually? I'll show you that one because it's the Paper Mill Direct cardstock. This is the stamp set. So it's just, it is called Bar Humbug and it's by Woodware again. I will link as much of this product as possible. This is the die set. So I will go through that in a moment. Let me just get the paper. So I'm using, for today, I'm using the black 240 GSM from Paper Mill Direct along with, that was it, Buff. It's such a nice, and it's really smooth. So it's, if you're not a fan of craft card, but you like to maybe use, or you, maybe the, the better way is if you like craft card, but you don't like the grain, this is lovely because it is, it's almost that same kind of color, but it's completely smooth. Really nice. And I love the name Buff. And again, that's 240 GSM. And then for that one there, I used the navy blue, again, 240 GSM. And I distressed that one. I did add lots of brown to the corners. It's just kind of picking it up there, you can see. So it's just a nice way again, just to add a little bit of character. Okay, so I have die cut everything, but I'm gonna tell you what you need. So those of you that have this die set, then you can obviously, you know, go ahead and cut these pieces. But like I said, if you don't, check out that tutorial because it's very, very similar. Mine's a little bit bigger actually, but the concept is the same and I put it together very similar to the way this is done. So this is your side and front. So I'm just going to burnish it and then I'll tell you what you need to, um, to cut in terms of the die. So it's, it's all straightforward to do. The score lines are all there. You can see it's very easy to follow. And then you've got this score line that goes just kind of, about well, it's just over three quarters of the way down. And that's the one that you want to fold in because that's going to form one side. And you can see there once we fold it up, how we get that. And that is using this large one here. Now you do need a larger die cutting machine, so you will need one that will hold a A4, um, you know, your A4 plates, and you want to run that through twice, so you have two of these. And then you want to die cut, so I'm just going to fold and burnish that one. Okay, then you want this one here, which will make the flap, so this is your lid. So what I've done here is on the flip side, I've got the lid die. So you want to die cut one of those. All right, and you'll see the shape it gives me. But when you run it through, you also can have it plain or you can choose two of these decorative panels. So I went for this one here, which is quite, um, what's the word, geometric. And you just sit that inside the plate, that kind of area, and just make sure you've got an even border. Get rid of that one there, there we go. You just want an even border. All right, and then run that through and you will have that. Then what I've done is I've die cut it again, but this time I've just done the end with the, the rounded edges, okay? And you'll see, very faintly, can you see that score line? I'm actually now gonna cut that and then it will fit perfectly behind this piece here. So I'm just gonna cut along that line. Because whenever I get dies that make something up for you, I, I always end up changing little bits to it. So I've adapted certain little bits to this. Most of it's how it should be done, but I do like to change it a little bit. With this one here, you've got two score lines. You've got a score line here, and you've got one just slightly above. 
that one there just be a little bit careful when you bend it up but it will go into place so and now that one will fit perfectly in there might need to trim another little bit off but you'll see and it's just a great way to show off that detail and then the other score line you just want to fold and burnish and that will give you the kind of the depth of the opening so you see on the side there that's it gives you more room okay so yeah now the back is quite long I end up trimming this I guess it may be there just to give you more of a reinforcement but I got rid of it but once we get to it I will show you that in more detail and we'll stick that behind that in a moment then you've got all your detail pieces so again I'm just going to flip this over so I have die cut two of these pieces here okay and these are this one all right it's got all that stitch detail around it and this will give you these ones here so I've got two of them then I've die cut two of these pieces here and get rid of that one okay and that's this one again it's got stitch detail around it the black doesn't show up as well but you can see that stitch detail all around these ones here and that is to do these ones okay and there's the other one under there now what I also added is I used my hole punch and some silver cardstock and just take I need a couple more anyway for the back one two three four so I need to use them in a bit and then I just stuck them and they just look like little you know fastenings little rivets poppers something like that I think they look really cool especially when they catch the light so that's how I just kind of finish those off and I'll keep those as well in a minute I'll pop them up there so I don't lose them then I die cut two of these pieces which is this little die here and they give you these straps where it tucks in and then I die cut two of the buckle so I've got one there and that one there and there's your buckle okay and this is great if you want to turn this into a Father Christmas looking one so the Father Christmas bags that I shared oh gosh it must be a week ago now you could make this red with maybe bits of white in it and have it looking like it's Father Christmas and the belt buckle and things like that. There's, there's great ways to really, you know, make it even more Christmassy. And then I have these pieces here, which I've already start to, started to prep, and that's this die. And I die cut three because I've done one of them, I've made into a handle on the top. So that is the same as what's on here, and then these are the back ones. Okay, so yeah, three of them. And then the one on the top, I've already gone and, again, punched a few more and stuck them on there. And then I'm going to add more onto these, but we'll go through that in more detail. So that is everything you need. You also get a passport, a pocket. You've got the little flap there to go over the pocket so it looks like a proper like shirt pocket. You've got lots of sentiments which are kind of themed around travel and wishing someone good luck. So if they're moving away or going literally travelling, it's great for that. And that was kind of the theme of mine. It was a travel one. And then I made a journal to go inside of it. So um, again, if you're new to the channel, do check that one out. If you don't have these dies, you know, and you can't get hold of it, then you can still make something very similar. And then on this side, yeah, there's all the sentiments. So they're great to use on cards anyway. The big adventure there and, and so on. Explore is another nice one. So that's everything there. So first of all, we want to stick this all together. And it sticks down the same way as you would any gift bag. When I make the gift bags from two pieces of cardstock, this is how, you know, a lot of you will be familiar with this. And some of you will even be able to go and do this all, you know, yourself and just use this video purely for inspiration. So I'm just going to add some glue. Now this is the Cosmic Shimmer Glue. It's another one that I do like. When I've done my glue review, I did, you know, recommend this one as well. And I've got about three of them, so I need to get them used. So I'm just going to lie that down there and just sit this one over the top. Okay, so you should have a side piece, the front side piece, and then the back, for example. So I'm just going to spend a minute just to make sure that grips down there nicely. Okay, and then if you turn it over and fold one of these main pieces over, and then on the net, the other one, the other tab, again, you just want to run some glue. And if you lie it down flat, this one should line up perfectly with that one. If it's a little bit off, just Kind of move it a bit. You want to make sure the bottom score lines all line up perfectly. Okay, I'm happy with that. So that's where we are at the minute. Next we want to seal the bottom. So decide which is going to be the front or back. I don't think there's any, you know, I'll keep this as my front. So that I'm going to stick down that one last. So I'm going to stick the back down first. Okay, and then I'm just going to pop glue all on here. Ooh. 
Okay, and stick one side and then another side. And then again, just gonna run some glue and then stick that one down. And just turn it over and you can just go in there and just make sure that all your sides are stuck. I've just got my mat here. Usually I would use some double-sided tape or the back of my hand, but I'm gonna do it this way. I'm just getting, this is like just a, a tacky PVA glue. Put some on there. It looks a lot more than it actually is and just spread it out with my finger. I mean, if you want to add double-sided tape to the back of that, you can, but I'm just gonna lie that over just to get the glue all on it. Yep, I'm happy with that. And when that dries, you can just peel it straight off because it's on that mat. And then with this piece, let's get that off my hands there. You're just gonna pop inside here. And it will all dry clear, so I'm not too worried about any glue there. It dries clear and dry. But now we've got that lovely effect on the front, okay? So that's that all done. I'm just gonna check, yeah, it does fold fine, it's okay. Okay, now this is when I'm gonna trim this piece down because, yeah, I don't need it to be that long. So I am going to put it in this way and that score line there, so you've got a score line here, a score line there. That one I'm just gonna line up with one inch and just trim all that off. Now it's entirely up to you whether you want to have it on the outside or inside. I am having it on the inside and then I stick the straps in with this as well. So yeah, when you see how I put it together then you can you know, decide if you want to do it that way or not. But these pieces here, so they were die cut like this and they've got score lines all down here. The kind of, there's two score lines but they're very faint but the one that's most, you know, the furthest in, I'm just going to fold one out and at the other end one under, sorry, like that. So one out and one under. The ones that are under are going to attach like that inside and then that bit will cover that when that gets stuck over the top. So it's all concealed and just thought it looked quite nice that way. So again, which was the, yeah, so this is the back. So I'm just going to grab again some of my glue and just stick them in. I'm coming in about one inch there and I'm gonna grab, I've got these little pegs which I've been using on another project just to kind of hold things in place and then I'm gonna pop another piece, some more glue there and again stick that one, making sure it's about the same distance in and again I'm just gonna pop a peg down there, all right, just while those dry. Okay, so now I've got those stuck. Then I'm gonna pop glues all on the back of this one here. It will fit in there, you get a nice snug fit. I'm just gonna lie it down on the back and I can just go in there and just make sure that's all stuck down for a minute. Okay, so now when you bring in the sides here, this piece will come down. And you'll see there how it all comes together. Once we stick these down, add all the decoration, add the handle on the top, it, yeah, it looks super, super cute. So the next I'm going to stick these down here. Let's get them stuck down. So I'm going to pop some glue on the back of that one there and kind of let it go where it wants so it feels like it wants to go there. So that's fine. So I use that one there and then pop some glue again on the back of this one. Next, we are going to stick this one on like that. Okay, you can see now where it's all starting to again come together. So I'm gonna pop a bit of glue. I'll do both actually. And then I can use the pegs to hold them in place. So I'm gonna line them up with the, yeah, so I'm lining it up with this here. The edge of this strap is where I'm lining that one up and then this one, the edge of that strap, I'm lining up there. Okay, then we want to add the straps to the front, so I'm going to stick them there. Okay, again it's, it's kind of up to you really where you want to put them, but I want to get these down because then you can close the lid. So. Because this is where you may want to put a Velcro dot under that piece, but I do like how they are just fastened with that bit there. So it's quite easy for whoever you're giving it to to open. So I'm going to add my glue there. And then I'm going to stick 
that one down like so. Come up a little bit higher actually because you don't want it coming off the edge there. So I think that's about right. So it's in line, I've got them now in line with that piece there. And keep everything very, very straight because it's going to be sliding into those other pieces. You want to make sure that this is all lined up. Okay, see now that's all again coming together. Next I am going to stick down the buckles because you want to get these on really before well yeah it doesn't really matter but I'm going to put them on now. Now you want the piece, the top I would say is that bit there with the little piece. That will go over the top and that one will go under. So you're just linking it in like that and then if you kind of stick it so it's in line with the bottom of this it really does look like a real buckle. So what I would say is you want to pop a little bit of glue because I'm working with mirrored cardstock. I don't want to smudge anyone. I'm popping a thin bit of glue on the back there and then a little bit on the front there so that when this then goes like that, the glue will stick to the top and then to the bottom. Again, just keep it nice and straight with that piece there. Okay, we'll do the same with the other one. Okay, so now you've got your buckles. Next, you want to stick these ones down here and also these pieces here. So, in fact, we'll do these ones. So, these are easy, you just want to pop glue on the back. And it's kind of up to you really how high you want them. I'm going to try and go the same as what I've done before, so stick that one there. Okay, and now we're finished with these pieces. So you want to keep it all together. What I might do is just pop the pegs on the corners. There we go. And then it keeps it where I need it. So these bits here will go across and you just want to glue under the, pe the bits that overhang. You don't want to glue anywhere else because we want this to obviously slide in and out quite freely. Like so. So again, it's up to you really how high you want them, but I'm going to pop a tiny bit of glue just on that end and then on that end there. There's not a lot of pressure on it because once once they're in there, you know, they're not, yeah, they're only light bits of paper, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to come up a bit higher and just stick them there. I can take those off and it will hold in place. Isn't it cute? It is so, so sweet. That's such an adorable look about it. Um, okay, that's it. That is the, the box done. Now I just want to bring in this one here. So I'd already stamped the bar humbug. I've die cut a couple of them and I've got some of my berries and I've got, where is my twine? Ah. I've got the Christmas twine here by Simply Creative and I'm going to use the red again. So that's why I've deliberately kept the colours very non Christmassy, very plain because I want the Christmas element to just be on the gift tag. So it's a good way of, maybe you've made a lot of gift bags throughout the year that aren't particularly Christmassy, but this might be a nice way to, yeah, to turn them a bit more festive. So I'm going to just pop this one in because I want to get this all trimmed so I can have my gift tag. I'm just going to stick it on this piece of scrap mirrored card. So it's the same mirrored cardstock that I've used, you know, for the buckles. So again, everything ties together. And right, then I'm just going to punch a hole there, and then just grab some of this twine. Just feed that through there, and then I'm going to tie mine off of the handle on the top and then I'm cutting off the wire on these. So I've just got some hot glue and I'm just going to pop some glue on the ends of the green kind of little leaves there and just stick it over like the hole punch. And that one there, but I don't want it to cover the writing too much so I have that one kind of lifted up there. I'm not too worried about the glue and how it looks right now because the berries are going to cover that. But you can see there and I can lift that leaf up a bit. I want it kind of coming off like that. There we go. And then I'm just going to pop 
Ooh, pop some glue on the kind of where I've cut them away and just stick them over where you've just joined up the two. See there? And I'm going to just build up another one. I'll just bring that up there and you can see the little berries. I think it just sets it off really well. Okay, and there you have it. Two very cute little Christmas backpacks. Lots of fun to make, very easy. The dies do it all for you. The hardest part's really choosing your papers and the layout that you want to go for. And um, as I said, if you can't get hold of these dies, it's not something you want to get. That's fine. Check out the tutorial that I have shared there because you'll get lots of inspiration and I'm sure you can take parts from this video and put it into that video. And um, as always, I'll share all the links to everything that I've used below. But um, yeah, I think they're really cute. Can't wait to put the little gifts in them because I know, like I said, exactly who these are for and what I'm putting inside them. So they're going to look very cute under the tree. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it's inspired you in some way. If you have, then please give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate it. And consider subscribing to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.